Welcome back to your tailored look. We are Caterina from Vanilla Boutique and Monica from MHG Beauty. We are creating makeup and hair looks inspired by beautiful wedding dresses. Today's dress. It's a Milanova group, again, wedding dress that we've chosen, which has a slip here, fantastic V neckline, and a completely open back with a cross spaghetti strap. It can be easily decorated with a fantastic hat piece with magic jewelry. Something that is very extraordinary because it gives you an opportunity to decorate it. Gorgeous Tasha is our beautiful bride for today. Today we're doing a rocker chic look. So I'm going to do a very dark smoky eye and dewy skin. This is a primer from Bobbi Brown, but I really love it. It's a mixture of a primer and a moisturizer. It leaves the skin super hydrated, but at the, and at the same time, it's perfect for underneath foundation because it makes the foundation look flawless. The under eye area, look up for me. Before you apply any concealer. Now I'm gonna highlight from underneath. This will look really natural because we're going to apply it under the foundation. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to hydrate the lips as well, which is also very important. With this look, we're going to try two different lipstick shades. One is going to be a nude one, which is what I would regularly go for when doing a very smoky eye. But today, we're also going to try a brighter lipstick that matches Tasha's nail color. I'm going to use a corrector to eliminate the dark circles. Whenever I do a very dark smoky eye, look up for me, I like to start with the eyeliner. Because the longer it's on the eyes, the messier it looks. And I love that. I love when it looks like you forgot to remove your makeup and you woke up like this. It's about doing a very clean line because it's, uh, it's not gonna be a defined eyeliner. I'm gonna smoke all this out. Now that I've mapped out the eye shape with the pencil, I will fill in with a cream eyeshadow that will not only work as a primer or base, but it will also help so that the color looks richer. I'm adding a lighter shade on the inner corner to open the eyes even more. Now for that final touch, I will add this gold pigment to the center of the lid. Now let's do the skin. I'm adding more of the corrector that we used at the beginning just to make sure the dark circles are fully covered. Let's bring back some warmth and dimension with contouring. One of the most important parts of contouring is blending. You need to know when to stop so that the dimension does not disappear but at the same time it looks like your bone structure. 
Now let's blend both the highlight and the contour with foundation. Let's set the cream products lightly with translucent powder. I like to add very thin layers so that the face does not look powdery. Remember, we're trying to achieve dewy skin. I'm going to continue warming up the skin and bringing back dimension by using bronzer, highlighter, and blush. When creating a dark smoky eye, it's very important to balance the look by bringing back this dimension and warmth to the skin so that it looks a lot more natural and it doesn't look out of place. A smoky eye looks good on everyone. It just depends what, like how dark you go and the shape you give to the eyes. But anyone can wear a smoky eye. I still want the eyes to be the main focus of this look. So I'm not gonna add a very, very bright blush because that would take away attention from the eyes. But once I'm done with everything, I'll see if we need to add more blush. Let's try our two different lipstick shades. First, we're going for the dark orange. I will add several layers of mascara just to make sure that the lashes are very dark so that they don't get lost with this dark smoky eye. Perfect, so now let's do hair. here very sleek on the sides and we we're doing it first with her hair length so that you guys have the options and then afterwards I'll add the ex hair extensions so that we see the difference between and we're one going and the to other. apply first this one let's see I would actually do it you can you can do it on a, one side and look straight Tasha Wow, I love that. Gorgeous. So that would be one option. This amazing hair clip. This one you can literally just stick on one side. This would be the option with the added hair extensions. For the final look, we decided to go with the first headpiece and keep her hair length. We feel this is perfect for that rocker chic look. <laughs> Let's 